How do you begin to counsel yourself? Ramaji asked. You cannot see an external counselor or a therapist every day to solve your problems. And he says, first, first, you should learn to observe and understand something about yourself. One important question is, is my first thought good or bad, usually? Is it clear or clouded? Sometimes your initial thought is very helpful, and if you follow it, you're successful. Sometimes, if you think twice and then do what your second thought suggests, that is better. You need to learn for yourself. Is your first thought a guiding thought or not? Does your second thought guide you more clearly? And does your third thought lead you to confusion or to clarity? This is something you should learn about yourself by observing how your mind operates while self-counseling to know when you should trust the advice of your mind. When you learn that, it is extremely helpful to you. Sometimes you discover that it's not booty, it's not wisdom that's speaking, but desire that's speaking. And it just appears to be intelligent, wisdom speaking. And it's just desire. Did I have another sweet? Oh yes, of course. Who's talking? Hmm. Is it wisdom or is it desire? Probably desire. <laughs> if you train manas and if you lead your ahamkara toward chitta and your manas toward buddhi, then you have accomplished something. What does he mean by that? Lead, uh, train manas, lead ahamkara toward chitta and manas toward buddhi. Ahamkara, that I part that comes out, if, it's, if that I, that surge of me that comes outward, if we allow it to just still itself and calmly, quietly just fall back into the chitta from which it arose, then it won't cause so much trouble. The, uh, the inus itself. And manas towards buddhi. And remember, manas is the part that is guiding the senses, the expressions and the cognitions coming in. And so if it starts to listen to buddhi, if manas is guided to listen to buddhi, improvement. And the more that becomes automatic, the better. Manas is automatically listening to the counselor within, to the wisdom. Then you have accomplished something, Swamiji says. Here's another piece of suggestion. Don't do anything in life unless your buddhi, the counselor within, tells you to do it. How do you do that? You need to make internal experiments with yourself. You need to train your booty to give a correct, clear judgment to your manas. You also have to train your manas to take the advice of booty. The nature of booty is clear, and it is very useful, but sometimes you don't want to listen to your own booty. Perhaps you feel deprived of something of value, and suddenly the idea occurs that you want to steal it. You know that it's wrong, yet you want to do it. This is due to your mental habits. So you must train both your manas and your ahamkara. And that process is what we call polishing your ahamkara, polishing the ego. Getting the parts in there, getting those four functions of mind to communicate with one another and to work together, like a well-tuned car when it's running right, it just works, all the parts work together. 